My dear friends, some young adults organized an experiment involving homeless people on the streets of big cities in the United States. They wanted to find out how the poor would react when asked for help. The result was amazing. The poor of the streets showed a high ability to share with others a few dollars they had or even the last sandwich they possessed. In the course of a year, parishes around the world organized special collections for different charities. During many years of my priestly ministry, I noticed that the most generous were usually those who didn't have much. It is true, there are many rich people who are extraordinarily generous. However, it's much easier to give away $1 million if you have 500 millions in the bank. In today's Gospel, Jesus praised a widow who offered in the temple two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Being God, Jesus knew that she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed, all she had to live on. We can say, wow, that's what we call an outstanding generosity. But not only that, she stands for all those who are able to trust God totally. In today's first reading, we see a similar kind of faith and generosity. A poor widow shared her last meal with the prophet Elijah. How to be generous and totally trust in God's providential care? Today's letter to the Hebrews tells us what we have to do. It is actually reminding us whom we shall imitate in order to be capable to surrender our lives to God. We read that Jesus Christ, the High Priest, did away with sin by sacrificing himself. He sacrificed his life to God the Father. Here we find the key we need to open the door for the room of trust and generosity. That key is sacrifice. Only by being united with our High Priest who died for us, we are able to imitate his lifestyle and offer our lives to God, trusting Him fully. Also, through today's parable, Jesus teaches us that when we give with a sincere heart, we lose nothing. He will always notice our generosity, even if it is made in secret. Our magnanimity and trust in Him will never escape His attention. My dear friends, it is reassuring to know that one day he will reward us in his heavenly kingdom for all the good we have done on earth. So let us smile, share our resources with others, have deep faith and trust the Lord in everything.